Hey, Tim here. In Tableau 21.4, Tableau have added the parameter capability to Tableau Prep. Let me show you how this works. I'm gonna use the sample flow over here on the bottom left-hand side. It can work with any flow. So we're just gonna open this up and uh, we're gonna use this workflow as the default workflow. I'll also package this workflow and publish it up to uh, server once we're able to publish prep flows to server. That will come at some point next year. But for now, um, if you're watching this video before that feature is available, um, I'll put a link to this this flow in the Dropbox folder so you can try it out. Now, if I go to the top left here, you can see there's a new icon here uh, with this sort of abacus looking sort of uh, uh, element here. And if I go in there, I can obviously create a parameter here. And this is the interface to create a new parameter. Now, a few things to note before we get stuck in. Parameters exist throughout the entire prep flow. So you can use this anywhere in the prep flow where essentially a calculation window can be created or you can use it as an item in the output step. So in the output step, you can also use this. Essentially, what I'd say to you though, is don't stick to that as the way this works. Essentially, anytime you see this little abacus icon, know that you can use a parameter in that instance. And also if you click on this abacus icon anywhere you see it, you're normally able to edit the parameter right there or change the parameter right there as well. So let's go ahead and sort of set things up and get this uh, working as we should. So let's go ahead. I'm going to actually make a segment parameter. Essentially, this will allow us to choose a parameter to then control the data set. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll set a value. So I'll just say home office. I know this data set fairly well, so I'll just set that for now. And now that I've done that, you'll see that I get this sort of uh, area up here at the top left hand side, which allows me to sort of see where the uh, uh, prep parameter is actually used over here. You can see it's not being used at all. I can edit the parameter there. And I can, of course, go ahead and create another parameter if I wanted to. I can use multiple parameters in this particular use case. What I will do, though, is I'll just go ahead and go to clean two here, which is where I sort of think this is going to be the best place to implement this. Because, of course, at this point, uh, I'm actually using the wrong annotation here. At this point, um, this is where you intersect and go off to these two outputs. So essentially, I think I can use this as a pretty good place to intersect and have the parameter affect both outputs. Now, the segment thing I'm trying to match here is actually over here. So let's go across. Uh, the segment is just there. So you can see consumer, corporate, and home office are all coming through as normal. So what I'll do in this clean step is I'll create a new calculation uh, to basically check this parameter. So what I'll do is I'll go up here to create a calculated field. Let's go ahead and create that field. And what I will do is I'll actually just type in segment equals segment parameter. So there's our parameter, it's now working. And when I uh, actually, let me just name this before I get confused myself, segment uh, param. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna hit save and you can now see that this parameter has popped in just there. Now, if I try and click on this little icon, unfortunately here, it doesn't work. But what you should notice is that this calculation creates a Boolean outcome. So you can see here that it's created this Boolean outcome called segment param. So what I need to do if I want this to actually work, if I want this to actually uh, filter something is I can actually keep just the values that are true in this particular case. So if I keep only the values that are true, then essentially what's actually happening is these two steps are responsible for filtering the data to match my parameter. The first one sets the parameter and tags the data. The second one does the filtering. So now that that's done, if we go across to our segment column, we should see that we only have one segment and that should be the home office segment. And you can see that working nicely there. Now, one of the things we'd like to do is to obviously set this parameter so you can change it. So I'm gonna show you a trick over here. If I just click back on a previous step, I'll actually get to see the data as if I was running it from that point. So I, I don't have to undo anything. I can just click back three steps here and I actually get to see my previous segments. Then I'll go back to the parameter here and edit the parameter. You notice this is a modal window. So I can actually have this open whilst looking at my data. I think that's really, really key. It's a really nice touch, I think. So let's go ahead and make this a list. Now, of course, it says the current value is home office. Um, interestingly, that value sort of doesn't pre-populate here. So I think we do have to uh, type it in again. So let's do that. I, I would expect that to sort of um, pre-populate if it's already one value. But all you have to do is click on the next line and then you can type the next one. Next one. So consumer. And then we're going to say uh, corporate. 
And that's pretty much it. And then now when I go to my drop down, you can see that it matches up and we can actually choose different things and that's gonna work absolutely fine. So let's just set this to consumer, click okay. And now that we've done that, the parameters uh, changed. I can obviously go back to this, I can close this. And now if I go to my filter parameter, we'll see that this is running. And if I go back to my segment column, we should see that this has changed indeed to consumer. Uh, and again, if we check up there, you'll see that that's matching. So that's the sort of first way you can use parameters as variables throughout your data set. And don't forget, of course, you can create multiple parameters. So maybe you've got a sales percentage that needs to be applied to a set of values. You can set that as a parameter. Then when the salesperson runs the flow, they can set their own percentages or values and have that run through. This is great for scenario modeling. Maybe you want to create a flow that just basically runs a bunch of scenarios. The user can come in, set a bunch of parameters, and boom, the flow generates the scenario for that user as a data set, and they can start modeling that or looking at that, or even having that pipe into a specific data set specifically for that person. Imagine if this parameter also let you, uh, for example, pull in the server username, and then you could create or append a row of data to a data source that had the scenario for that person. So they could have a date and time they ran the scenario and they could have a filter in a dashboard. So every time they ran this scenario in prep, it would run, publish up the data source. And then when they connect to their workbook, they can go in and sort of look at this stuff. It's a really sort of interesting use case. Uh, you can definitely try for this. But nonetheless, let's uh, let's go ahead and show you the next way you can use parameters inside a Tableau Prep. If we go to the output, if we actually go to the output step here, you can see that we have this parameter icon over here on the bottom left available to use. And so this is really interesting because of course, um, this allows us to parameterize both the name of the file and the location of the file. So this is kind of useful as well. Um, the thing about the location of the file is I sort of wish you were allowed to use not just the parameter, but the fields in the data source. This is something that Alteryx has that I really like. I would love that to be added to this location uh, area here. So, you know, use a parameter or use a column in the data set would be a really nice option and in that exact spot. But let's go ahead and add uh, something. Let's append the segments to the file name. So we'll just do that. Uh, I put the space in the wrong place. Um, there's a little bit of a weirdness here where the spacing sort of doesn't match where the highlighting ends, but nonetheless, that's fine. So the file will be called Segment Superstore Sales. Uh, at the moment, it's a hyper file. If I actually go browse, um, if I actually cancel and uh, yeah, I think that's right, actually. If I go to browse and I just open up this view here, let's go to my desktop and let's just put something in here. This will have to do. And then that will be consumer superstore sales. You see it is actually pulling through the parameter already and hit accept. So that will work. And here, what you can actually do is you can click on this text and change that parameter right there. So you can, you can even change that output right here. And when you hit set, it obviously runs the data through and checks everything through again and you're pretty much good to go and you're you know it's going to do exactly what you expect so that's that everything is set up now what i can now do is i can of course run the flow and of course it will ask me to set the parameter and this prompt is actually a tick box that you can enable if i go over here to edit the parameter you see prompt for value at runtime if you do that and click ok what will happen is when you run the flow even on server it will ask for this option so you'll see that it's prompting me for the value uh, set uh, that value hit run and now the flow will run and it will process that parameter as it runs through the data set. Uh, Tableau Prep would like to you know, write some files to my desktop. It's actually been able to do that. And there we go, it puts 7,000 rows or something through, but I actually know there's, uh, actually there's more than that. If I create a, a clean step just before here, you'll see there's 41,000. I'm actually looking over here for the row numbers. So before the step, it's 41,000. And here after the step, after our prep um, parameter has been implemented, there's only 7,000 rows as you can see here. So that's pretty much how the parameter capability works. There's so many sort of useful scenarios here. It starts to bring Tableau Prep to life actually, because I think this is a really nice way of starting to think of ways of making flows dynamic and really sort of well integrated to the ways we work day to day, but also using them to do really cool things. But maybe hinting to another point here, which is Tableau is really starting to add 
p features and capabilities into Tableau Prep that we've been asking for for a long while. And I'm glad this one's here. Uh, so yeah, this is very similar to Alteryx constants, if that makes sense. So a constant in Alteryx is a value you can set and then you can call it inside of the flow. This is very similar uh, to that. But in Tableau, we call those parameters. Thanks for watching this video. Check out the other videos in 21.4 uh, release uh, on the channel. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next video soon. Thanks for watching.